The summer is over, the days are getting shorter, and you might be already getting ready for that winter hibernation. But don't tuck in under that cozy blanket just yet. Autumn is a beautiful time to get out there and explore Switzerland. And if you're stuck for ideas, here are the seven things you should do in Switzerland this autumn. Go watch the cow parade. Every year in the months of September and October, Swiss farmers take the cows from the summer pastures in the mountains down to the valleys. And this is celebrated in an event called an Alpine descent, or depending on which area you're in, a Desalp, Alpabfahrt or Alpabzug. The people and the cows dress up for such occasion. You'll see elaborate flower decorations on the heads of the cows and traditional costumes worn by the people herding these animals. After the cow parade has arrived in town, usually there are market stalls, music and food for you to enjoy. Even though the region most famous for this event is Appenzell, in reality these alpine descents happen in many places across Switzerland. Unfortunately this year due to Covid many festivities have been cancelled. Also it's mid-September which means that many of these descents have actually already happened. However there are still a few events that will take place in the next few weekends so I wanted to share them with you in case you still manage to go or maybe you save this idea for next year. I'll link all of the events that I could find in the description box below. Go for a hike! As the weather is getting cooler and the leaves are turning colour, it's an excellent time to explore the beautiful Swiss nature. To determine the best times and areas to see the colours of fall, use this map from My Switzerland. Apart from showing the foliage situation across the country, it also has links to many webcams, which means that you can check how the place actually looks like before you go. I would also recommend doing a walk in the vineyards. There's something so eye-pleasing about the perfectly lined up golden rows of grapevines. If you're not sure about where the vineyards are located, you can check this map from Swiss Wine website. You can then use Kamut or Switzerland Mobility to find a walk in that specific area. Participate in the harvest of grapes, which is also called Vandage. Grape picking can be a laborsome activity, however some winemakers make a fun event out of it. If you have any Swiss friends, I would recommend you ask them if they know any winemakers that are organizing Vandage this year. Or you can also join one of the official events organized by the Swiss Wine Promotion Company happening on the 2nd of October. During this day of Vandage, you can learn about winemaking, help harvest the grapes for a few hours and get rewarded afterwards by copious amounts of wine wine and food. Visit a pumpkin farm. Pumpkins are excellent not just for eating but also for looking at. Every year Yucca farms organize colorful displays featuring impressive pumpkin sculptures. We haven't been there yet but all the photos I've seen so far look great. Apart from seeing the exhibition you can also try various pumpkin dishes and buy locally made foods. They also organize pumpkin weighing competition and pumpkin carving festival. This would be a great day trip activity especially if you have children. There are four yucca farms in Switzerland and they're all located relatively close to Zurich and the pumpkin exhibitions will run there until the end of October. Catch the last steamboat of the season. If the weather is calm and sunny, autumn is a nice time to enjoy a ride on one of the Swiss lakes. And what a better way to do that than on one of the iconic paddle steamers. I think being on the boat gives you a different perspective onto the lakeside towns and cities. And plus, if the leaves have started to turn colour, you'll get an even more beautiful scenery. Most steamboats only run until mid-October, so don't miss out. On a rainy day, visit a museum. There are many museums in Switzerland, so you should obviously pick the one that you're actually interested in. But based on what we have visited, I can recommend you two museums in particular. First one is Ferkis House in Lucerne. This transport museum features various trains, planes, funiculars, bikes, and even Swiss-made cars. It's really big, it's super interesting, and I think kids would love it too. And the second one is Lindt Home of Chocolate near Zurich. It's a great museum where you can not only learn about the history and making of Swiss chocolate, but also taste it. And there's a shop with great offers on big bags of Lindt chocolate. Enjoy seasonal foods. Initially here I was going to say that with the cold weather arriving, it's gonna be a nice time for fondue, but then I thought that people here have hot melted cheese all year round. So instead, let's talk about the autumn specialities. It's chestnut season, so soon there will be Heisen Maroni and Maron Short stores 
popping up here and there. If it's your first time eating roasted chestnuts, then my number one tip is to not eat them straight away because they're super super hot and you're just gonna burn yourself. You can also enjoy caramelized chestnuts which you can buy pre-made from the shop. Or also there's a Swiss dessert called vermicelle where basically you have a roasted chestnut puree squeezed out to look like noodles and then they serve it with whipped cream. On the savory side you can try some spätzle. Spätzle? 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 On the savory side you can try some spätzle and cooked red cabbage as well as game meats such as wild deer and boar. I hope you enjoyed this video and these suggestions will be useful for you this autumn. Have a nice day wherever you are and see you in the next video next week. Bye!